Today we will compare Carter 5 and Carter 4. Just my thoughts. You guys will probably have very different thoughts than mine. And I'm not the best at comparisons, but I'm going to just give you my thoughts. Then you can share your thoughts below. Also, we'll examine Uproar and uh, Mr. President off Carter 5 and 4. And uh, we'll just draw some comparisons between the two albums. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. This is Jordan Tower, JT News. Hit that bell, hit the subscribe button. And hit that notification bell and the subscribe button so you can get the latest news as it comes out. Because when the news breaks, we fix it here at JT News. Okay, so Lil Wayne dropped Carter 5, and I'm enjoying it. It's been about a week. It's been exactly a week, actually. And uh, it's really awesome. Uh, you know, obviously the hot songs for everybody listening to Carter 5 due to streaming is Mona Lisa, Don't Cry, obviously Uproars up there. But it seems like Mona Lisa's the top song, obviously, because Kendrick Lamar's on it. And Let It Fly is a little bit more stream than Uproar because Travis Scott's on it. And, of course, Don't Cry as XX Tantashan. But for, as far as a solo song, Uproar, you can't really say Swiss Beats is on there. I mean, he talks on it, but he didn't really produce that track. That's really an easy LP track that was produced by G-Dep. So Carter 5. Carter 5 seems like it gets more personal. Also... This is a period of seven years where we haven't gotten Wayne as Wayne. We've gotten like, you know, hold me over projects. Uh, you know, I'm not a human being. I think that's when he was in jail. One and two. Those were when he was in jail, I think. No, just one. Okay. And then Carter four. Or no, he was in jail before then, I think. I, I can't even keep it straight. Okay. I'm not a human being was in jail. You know, I'm not a human being too was when he was out of jail. So... Um, Carter four, let's go into that. Okay. See more of just hit records that resonated with fans more, more of a push. Uh, this is Wayne coming, you know, this is 2011 Wayne coming off of 2008 Wayne at his peak with Carter three, which was undeniably took over, took over hip hop. I mean, on another level, like Wayne had officially arrived as a super, super, superstar. He was already a superstar. He was the guy at that point. That's when he became GOAT, okay? Um, so Carter Four, basically the songs that stood out, obviously the hit songs was, you know, Six Foot Seven with Corey Guns, which, which was kind of like trying to remake the feeling of a Millie. Um, she Will with Drake, which was like kind of like a stripper song, but dope, and Drake was on fire. You still had T-Pain involved, around that time with How to Hate. Um, he pushed Tech 9 out there a little more commercially. Tech 9's already huge on the underground. Uh, John with Rick Ross, and Rick Ross was huge at this point, coming off of uh, BMF track, Blowing Money Fast. Um, President Carter, that was the, the first time I've heard him recycle a song beat, okay, from a mixtape in 2007. Uh, the song was called here let me get it for you it was called outstanding little wayne outstanding same sample same song he kind of recycled it with president carter and we saw this with uproar he had a song in 2012 off dedication four i think i don't know dedication two or four with j cole uh, i think it was called green green buyer or something like that i can't remember the exact name oh uh, here it is uh duh, duh, duh. Yeah, J. Cole was on it. He just said he doesn't remember that, but he I think he was joking. You know, like, of course he remembers doing a song with J. Cole. But uh, he claims he didn't with Elliot Wilson. But the song... I don't even remember the name of the song. Oh, here it is. Uh, Green Ranger. So, Green Ranger is them just freestyling over the g Dep Easy LP beat, and then they kind of remade it with Swiss Beats, I guess, redoing the drums... Uh, but obviously, it's still an Easy LP beat from 2001. Easy LP did like Uchi Wally and a lot of other songs. So, um, and then Carter Four. Let's see. Let's finish off Carter Four. Um, you know, you had Jada Kiss on there. Uh, Nas. Shine. He had like an outro song with like Busta Rhymes, Shine, Nas, Bun B. He was just showing love to people on this one. Uh, President Carter was dope. Uh, but you know. Then you get into Carter. Okay, so this that was like Wayne on fire still. 
just had a huge run from Carter two to Carter four. Then he kind of had label problems, and we didn't see him in the forefront. He still was the GOAT, but he was distracted by problems with Birdman and everything. So once those got settled, he already had Carter Five recorded since 2014-15. I'm sure he had to redo a lot of tracks. He said he had so many tracks he could have dropped a double album. Um, even Cortez Bryant said that they tried to give it the cash money and they couldn't pay for it. They didn't have the money. So they even tried to work out a deal where they got paid on the back end, still couldn't work it out. So they just didn't want to let Wayne go, but Wayne finally is free. So this track, this album has a lot more tracks than the last one. This one had 18. This one has 23. Um, and it's a little bit of everything for everybody. It seems like they just there was no ongoing theme. They mixed a lot. He said he hadn't heard of XXX Tentacion until he got the song with a hook, but that's a really uh, deep song. Don't cry. Uh, and then he has his mom on here. It's, it just seems more personal, you know. His mom's doing the intro, and she's like doing parts of the album. His daughter's on it. Famous. That's one of my favorite songs. Open Letter is a great song to me. Mona Lisa, obviously. Dark Side of the Moon with Nicki Minaj is different. It's experimental. You know, they're singing. Let It Fly with Travis Scott's dope. Obviously, they recorded that in like 2014. But like the standout tracks to me, like the ones that could be singles would be Uproar, Mona Lisa. You could probably do like a famous with uh, Regine because he had a song on Carter IV called... Uh, well, he had Mirror with Bruno Mars, which he did a video for and pushed. But he had this song called How to Love, which was like a deep song, talking to the people. Mona Lisa, they're saying that's about Superhead. Like, she's in there. <laughs> like, it's kind of like about her part of it. Mac Main's on here with Ashanti. That's a great song. Uh, Used To, that's a, that's a sleeper that's really hot. And then Let It All Work Out. But there's not a lot of... There's not as many just straight out bangers on this album. It's just a great album where Wayne wanted to do what he wanted to do. And in Carter IV, it had more, you know, they were specifically looking for radio songs that could be videos. And on this one, it looks like they, he just put out what he wanted to put out. Uh, I love Let It All Work Out. That's a deep song. So he gets more personal on this album, I think. I think he gets more personal than any of his other albums. Now, you know, you got... When you go through the Carter series, you know, he arrived with Carter 1. Uh, Carter series is dope. That was just Wayne going in a different direction, Manny Fresh. Uh, D Wayne really showing he can rap on the Carter. And then Carter 2, that's when Wayne, like, was like, okay, this guy's a real lyricist. You know, it was very, the beats were more, like, sample-based and more musical. You know, it just seemed more musical, if that makes any sense. Uh, that's around Dipset era, you know, where there were a lot of samples of classic 60s, 50s, 70s, 80s songs. Um, a lot of, very musical. Uh, that's where he got Money on My Mind, Fireman. Uh, that's where he, he said he is the best rapper alive and proved it from Carter Two to Carter Three with all the features he did. I mean... He's done hundreds and hundreds of features, but uh, I would I can't say one's better than the other one. Um, I could see myself bumping Carter Five longer than Carter Four because it's more personal and seems more relatable. Carter Four seems more just music you're gonna bump in the car. Um, that's my personal opinion. You guys might totally disagree with me and say I'm bugging, but. And I can't believe I just talked for 10 minutes about this. <laughs> but uh, I'm just giving you my honest opinion, and you can have your own opinion about this. But uh, And I'm looking forward to the Carter. I'm, you know he's going to put out a Carter 5 Deluxe like he did with 4. He did put out a Deluxe edition. Um, with Carter 2, he did a Chopped and Screwed. That was hot back then. Um, and on Carter 3, he did an MTV edition. So this is going to probably be a bonus. He'll probably release a whole nother disc. Um, so it's almost like he's releasing two albums this year. I, I could see that happening by Christmas. And he talked about having a Jay-Z feature that Jay-Z was on tour and he didn't have time to get to the 
the album, but uh, I'm sure Jay Z will be on there. Um, and I'm sure Drake will finally be on there. They said they had a sample clearance problem. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see where that goes. But anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Um, I'm curious about that. This is uh, Jordan Tower JT News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right, with a bell next to it. You got to click that because when news drops, you want to get informed. And when the news breaks, we fix it here at JT News.